Welcome guys. Oh shoot. I got all bit up the other day while I was outside. Just excuse me one moment while I just itch my arm to death. Uh, I know you're not supposed to itch them. Don't judge me. <laughs> Welcome guys to my... Oh, I can't even just... I need a moment to collect myself. I'm embarrassed now. Welcome guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Pacific Rim anime that is up on Netflix. <sighs> it's actually not bad, okay? I, I sighed, but it's actually not bad. And this is a no spoilers review, just in case you didn't catch the title. Yes, I know, I'm still itching my arm, thank you very much. I will try to not do that while I sit here. Um, you know, so effectively what it's about is these two kids, uh, Haley and Taylor, Yes, Haley and Taylor. How often do I remember real people's names? Yeah, that's an issue for me. Anyway, it's about these two kids, Haley and Taylor, who are traveling through this wasteland after their home is destroyed, trying to find their parents who have been missing for a very long time. Yeah, there's some touchy-feely shit in there. So this takes place in Australia in the same standard Pacific Rim universe. They do take a lot of liberties with different and new kaiju and shit. So if you're a hardcore fan and you don't like changes being made, you're probably not going to like this. But the changes that they make, again, it is mostly exclusively to the specific kaijus and the kaiju macro mixes. I'm trying not to spoil too much for you here because no spoilers, right? I gotta stick to that. But yeah, no, it's mostly, most of the changes they made were the kaiju. So if you don't like changes like that being made to something you love so much, you might want to just skip it in case, uh, I mean, unless you like being triggered, then go for it. Go for it. Be triggered. Be you. That's all that matters. But no. <laughs> but no, there are some slight changes and liberties that they took with it, but then again, I'm having a bad day with itches all of a sudden. I sit down and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't stop. I swear I'm not doing drugs. Um, oh, why would I say that? Why would I say that? I'm having a rough day. Don't judge me. I have a, my first exam this week in calculus too. Yeah, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But no, um, back on topic. So it's actually really good. The pacing is insanely nice. There are some touchy-feely moments. Things hit when they were supposed to. I was interested. I was engaged. It Solid. Solid anime. It was a solid anime, which is odd coming from Netflix, but it was a solid anime. Now, the animation, specifically of humans, not of the monsters, the monsters were epic. The animation, when it comes to the humans, it can look a little bit like... Not right. This random 3D character, just like... Just, there are moments when it doesn't look right some of the animation, but to be honest, if you watch the show and you don't stop and go watch something else, which you shouldn't need to, it's not very long, so I would recommend you watch it all in one sitting, because then you're used to the animation and you don't pick up on those things as much, but if you stop and go do something else and come back to it, you'll probably notice it even more so that some of the animation for the people is a little off and a little odd looking. But yeah. That's pretty much the only negative I would have to say about it, because everything else was pretty on point. It was pretty on point. I didn't find characters annoying, I was interested in them, I was engaged, it was pretty good. It was a solid anime, which is saying a lot for a Netflix anime. So yeah, I hope you guys go and watch it, unless you don't want to be triggered for those uh, Pacific Rim lovers out there, but yeah. Go give it, go give it a, go give it a whirl. It's actually really good, okay? So, until next time, guys.